Uh, we're here at the Linaro Connect, and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Tyler Baker, I'm the technical architect for the Lava Team. And you? Uh, I'm Vishal, uh, I'm the Android baseline lead. So here's an Arndale Octa, Octa board. That's so correct. What are you going to do with this? We're going to do a lot of things with it. Not only can it run Android, uh, we can also run our uh, Linaro Ubuntu distribution on it as well. Um, maybe plans for open embedded sometime in the future. Um, so we use an SD card to boot that, but it also has onboard NAND for flashing Android images in. So I think those are the kind of use cases as, as a small, low power server and as an Android platform for development. So how long time does it take you to start using it? Right out of the box, plug it in. All right, let's try. So you've already been uh, messing around with the Arndale Octa for a little while? Yeah, that's correct. So there it is. What's nice about this board is it has a sister board, which will pull to a DB9 connector so that you can have a serial. So the RS-232, I believe, is right here. Uh, and they can be adapted to a DB9 connector. There's all sorts of other goodies in here. So it looks like a, a five volt power supply. Cable, uh, micro SD card, HDMI, and a USB. Very nice. So, is there some software on it already? There should be. Like an uh, EMMC or something? Yes. So, what we have or here, we have our SD card interfaces, we have a mic, we have audio output, we've got Ethernet, we've got HDMI, USB 3.0, uh, USB OTG. It's our power connector here, the thing on the bottom. But obviously it's expandable here. You have a series of input outputs which can be configured to do various other things. So let's try hooking it up. So what, what did you mainly do with this? Uh, the idea is uh, you're going to have uh, Lenaru Android built for Andy Lokta and uh, there are a lot of other engineering team interested in using this, like security working group. They want to work on uh, trust zone execution environment, and they're planning to use this as a reference platform for the same. So using this board to run the latest uh, Linaro Android? Yeah, uh, Linaro Android as well as developing uh, trust zone software. So oh, right now, uh, for example, it probably has already Android on it, but yeah, is it should be uh, Jelly Bean provided by uh, the board manufacturer from Insignal. Is that in any way like uh, the same as what you would run in it? Um, yeah, I mean it would be more of a stock AOSP or the one they get from uh, Samsung. All right. So you have this also and working on it already. Uh, yeah, we've just started with it. Uh, we've uh, set up a build with uh, the latest kernel, but it doesn't include all the graphics goodies that comes with the uh, Insignal kernel. So there seems to be booted. All right. So, um, and w what kind of other software do you have? You might be able to run on it already. Well, so so right now we currently have uh, you know Ubuntu Saucy. Uh, with server, nano, uh, those, and we do have a desktop version for it as well. Uh, I don't believe we've ever tested that though. Uh, open embedded might be in the plans too, so basically using it as a, a very small server, uh, low power server. Um, Is any of that by any chance like on an SD card already over there? Or Absolutely, something? yeah, we can, we can yeah? take a look at it. So this is another Arndale board? Yeah, this is the, the one that's in our lava lab for our demo here. That's so what we can do. and we can start up a job. So we, we're having a job run, we'll just go ahead and cancel this one and we'll start up another one. So Lava, for anybody that doesn't know, is our, our automation framework here at Lenaro. Uh, uses, we use Lava to validate all of our software engineering output on, on real hardware. So essentially, it's our metal as a service at Lenaro. And uh, just about every platform we have is supported. So let's take a look, okay. So we'll go ahead and resubmit. So, 
So, uh, for example, if it's Ubuntu right now, it would be loaded into this memory instead of the Android right in there. Uh, actually, so what we can do is you can actually dual boot this platform. Uh, so you can use uh, U-Boot that's on the SD card to boot and then load uh, Ubuntu or Open Embedded or whatever your favorite distro is. Uh, or if you remove the SD card, it'll use the onboard flash to load a bootloader that's capable of using fast boot and just boot it to the Android image. So it's nice if you want to play around with both Android and, and other Linux distributions. And what kind of other things would you uh, think people would do with the Arndale Octaboard? Well, so what we're doing at Lenaro is we have to do tool chain validation uh, on native hardware. So it's a very fast, fast platform. It's got eight cores, uh, four of them A7, four of them A15. Uh, it's got a large amount of memory. I think it's two gigabytes. Uh, so we do use it for, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to use it as, as a build machine uh, for building native ARM packages. So uh, when you run something on it, what's the output you can, you can, you can get? What can you see? So, so we're going to see uh, the serial output. So we'll get a console uh, into our Ubuntu image, and then we'll invoke some test cases on it. Uh, in this case, this is uh, building our GCC tool chain. Um, it will take a second here, and then uh, this is our power monitor that we use to monitor power. Right now, it's off, not providing any power to the board. What will happen is Lava will instruct the, uh, this device to power on the board. Uh, we'll be able to see the current output here, as well as the watt hours. Is uh, is a board like this the same kind of power consumption as a, an end device with the same SSC? Uh, well, typically these are reference designs, so they're not as finely tuned as say, you know, uh, uh, your, your typical standard cell phone. So, no, but they'll be close. Uh, and, you know, that's where taking something that's a reference design like this and making it into a product, that's what you, that's what the companies are there for. Uh, it's quite a lot of work. So do you have a bunch of them already in the lava? We, we do have two in Cambridge, uh, one on our community server as well. So we do have three. This is the fourth one that will be going in, and I'm, I'm hoping for some more hardware as well. But uh, just in, in general, like all the Arndale balls that get sold into the market, what do people use them for outside? Well, what's interesting is the original Arndale board has a SATA connector, so it opens up a little bit more possibilities. Uh, you can add some large storage on, onto the device. So uh, another neat thing is, uh, is KVM, running virtualization on ARM, uh, specifically on the A15 chip. So that's a lot of, a lot of our virtualization team uses the Arndale uh, for that reason alone. Do you, do you think people buy those to test out some specific apps or to uh, optimize OSs mainly? Yeah, I think, I mean, that's more of what we do here at Lenaro. Um, you know, we're not really into the, the app space, but more of the platform space. And so that's what we do is we, we prove out, uh, you know, our kernel designs and our, and our some of our user space software that we do have, uh, uh, namely, you know, OpenJDK, uh, you know, and, and making sure that the ARM packages that you find on these distributions work properly and that they're optimized for the ARM architecture. And if people want to optimize Ubuntu, or if they want to play around with Chromium, maybe? Ah, that would be, that would be an interesting one. I know uh, there's a new Chromebook out there that was just announced that's going to have the same chip that's on this, this Octaboard here that'll be running Chromium. Um, so I, I do think we're, we'll probably see that at some point. So now what you see here, I don't know if I just right. I, actually wait. Okay. Here's here's the problem. Okay. <laughs> let me uh, let me pull up. That's cool. We're gonna That's fine. swap power supply now. I'm plugged in. <laughs> 